We are on the Rustig hiking trail. We are going to be attempting to do the 18 kilometer. We got some stern warnings from the lady at reception and her husband who gave us the map about the 18 kilometer being fairly tough, but I'm sure we'll be okay. <laughs> We've done, I think about two and a half kilometers maybe. And what's nice so far, it's pretty secluded on the 18 kilometer trail. It looks like most people are doing either the 13 or the nine. I think this is definitely easier for shorter people than taller people. Yeah. Oh, four kilometer mark. I like this little section like scrambly on the side of the hill through the bush. The trail we are doing seems to be called Machalis Krantz. It's the blue route, the 18 kilometer route. Wow, have you been looking at the view? I have, it's great, I must say for sections like this, yeah. I really like having the GoPro on the hand strap. We've just come up from this direction that says no entry, because obviously it's a one way path. Down that path is the red one, and we are continuing on the blue one. Vultures rise, vultures ascent, vultures ask for climb, vultures climb. Is it quite a climb? Awesome. I'm on my way. I don't know if it's going to come out. It's still quite far away, but over there, they're like green ladders and stuff. It looks like it's going to be quite fun. Very dangerous. I mean, it's true. You do not want to fall off here for sure. The ladders are extremely strong and they're like slanted in towards the slope of the land. If you have a fear of heights I think you would perhaps be a little bit, I don't know, anxious at this point. So we're at the top and it took us an hour and 40 minutes. We weren't going particularly fast, we were like, you know, stopping every now and then to take pictures and so on. Top of the Michalisberg has some really cool plants. Chicken run, we're not on the chicken run. Is that not what it says? Like this path that we're walking right now is the chicken run. I know it doesn't make sense according to the map, but. <laughs> okay, so Ralph obviously saw a very dangerous sign and um, is now wanting to do this little climb, which is actually part of the green trail, I think. That's the green one. So we can actually see just below us, like maybe 50 meters below us, they're blue markers. But we went somewhere along here, along the green path, and then we went down back to it. Yeah, so we, we had to like drop off the green path. There's the green path. You can see people walking on it right now. And we had to just drop back down to the blue path. If, if we had just followed the blue dots religiously, we would have ended up on the correct path. Despite getting lost up at the top there, we still got here at about one o'clock. And here being, this is the first overnight hut if you do this as a two day trail, which you can do. So here's the beginning of day two. It's pretty. It 
is really pretty. I'd actually like to come and stay here, like do the two day trail maybe. Yeah. Oh yeah, how cute. There's just places dotted throughout this whole little abandoned farmstead place. I wish we had more time to just go and explore around there. So far, the second part of this 18 kilometer hike from the overnight hut onwards has been pretty different. Instead of going up the mountain, you kind of go through the farmlands and the bush, which is really nice because it's quite a drastic change of scenery and it's also a lot flatter. So uh, a lot easier and faster to hike. So we're back at the car after our 18 kilometer hike. On my watch, it actually measured 16 point something kilometers, but that could be because there was a section that right when we started, they warned us that we would not be able to do the Bobian Afsak. We had to take the little um, chicken run loop there because the ladders were being repaired because the wood had rotted away. But we did the whole trail and it was, Absolutely amazing. I highly, highly recommend it. You do have to be reasonably fit to get it done, but it is so beautiful. At the end, where the reception is, there's accommodation, so you can stay overnight here. You can also uh, book like a braai area. There's a place to braai, there's a swimming pool, so you can have a look on the Rastach website, which I'll put a link in the video description to if you're planning on doing this hike yourself, or any one of their other hikes. They've got quite a few. They've got a three kilometer, a five kilometer, a nine kilometer, a 13 kilometer. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more from me, then you can click on my channel name to see videos that I've made in the past, or you can subscribe to my channel to see videos that I'm going to make in the future.